After a service instance is created from one of the service types like SQL Server, K2 goes out and interrogates the selected data provider to identify the structure and data objects available to K2 based on the credentials provided to K2. The result is presented in the format of one or more service objects. As introduced in the Smart Object Architecture topic, a service object is the logical representation of the entities living in a data provider. Service objects expose properties and methods discovered from the provider. For example, a SQL Server database table and its columns are presented as properties, along with SQL transaction statements such as select, update, and delete, which are presented as methods of a service object. It is important to understand that service objects, like what you see here, are generated when a new instance of the service type is created. K2 cannot automatically refresh a service object when changes to the underlying system occur, since K2 would not know when those changes happen. If you happen to notice a property that is not available from a service object, and you know that a recent change was made to the underlying data provider to handle the required property, you, if you have K2 server admin rights, or your K2 administrator can refresh the service instance so that your service object will be updated to make the property available when creating an advanced smart object. Therefore, it is important to come back to the service instance in the K2 management site and refresh it whenever there are schema changes that are made to the underlying data provider. Let's look at a simple example of when a status column is added to a customer table over in a SQL Server database. By refreshing the service instance, the customer table's service object will be updated with the latest properties and methods in K2. Being able to perform this function is vital to creating and managing an advanced smart object that has the requirement of service object properties and methods being valid and up to date. This is done in both K2 Cloud and K2.5. We will look at more of this in a later topic where we will create an advanced smart object.